Hey, yo, what it do, true fam? It's the homie from the boot. Hashtag truth. Three finger salute. Look, man, um, I got another one for you, man. Uh, dropping this video here. Uh, this is just a little something to get everybody through the day. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I've been getting a lot of feedback on the church announcements and how much you guys have been enjoying them. So, uh, real talk, man, like, thank y'all. I'm, I'm starting to feel way better than what I was. You know, it looked like I got something here. Uh, want y'all to stick around, uh, after the video, cause I'm gonna be right back, man, just to kind of chop it up with y'all for a little while. Cause I'm putting this one in the live chat. So we just gonna run it. Um, Asking for as many people to join as possible, man, because I really want to enjoy this, man. And uh, right now, I want to just say thank you for all the love and the support. Even when I told you I had to take my uh, the, the the other content down that I had, I've looked back in my post and I've had so many, you know, positive feedbacks and everything else. And everybody saying that they here to stay, you know, that they came for me. I even had a couple of them tell me um, that they originally was here for Tony Baker. They was going to leave, but they was like, man, you seem like a nice guy. You seem like a genuine guy, so I'm going to stick around. And even got new subs from it. So, yeah, you know, I'm a... Uh, I'm going to definitely take that to the heart from now on, man. I really appreciate it. I, I really do. And as always, man, y'all keep y'all heads up, man, everything we doing right now, you know, protesting and all that is going on. It's so good to see the United States sticking together, man. I always told people they got more people that's not racist than they do that's racist. The racist crowd is a small crowd, man. But y'all can see out in droves, you can watch the TV and see how everybody unified together. And it wasn't an attack on the country, no nothing like that. These are people cutting up behind an African-American. We've come a long way, y'all, because it's a while you wouldn't have seen this. I don't know why people not I ride 10 and 10. I don't care what they're doing. I want y'all to look at this point. It was one time in American history that this was not going to happen. That you wasn't going to see a bunch of white folks and, and other races coming out there just because a black man died. And if y'all looking at y'all TVs, damn they every race out there right now. And they fighting hard, too. I don't blame them. It's good to see that. But anyway, man, hope y'all enjoy the video, man. Again, please stick around after the video, man, because I'm going to come back. I'm going to tap it up for a few minutes or so. And, you know, we're going to go from there, man. Probably going to freestyle. I'm going to join y'all in the live in the live chat as well, man. Peace. Good evening, everyone. Deacon Anderson here again with the church announcements. Uh, first off, we want to start. Well, I want to start by saying this. Whichever one of you trifling, alligator back, discount shopping, no good son of a guns, keep leaving gum up under the pews, when I find you, I'm going to stomp you. I got to clean this church every week, and every week I got to come here and they got gum up under the seats. I don't understand why it's so goddamn hard, and yes, I'm cussing today, I don't care. I don't understand why it's so goddamn hard for somebody to just take the gum and put it in a piece of paper and throw it away. Do y'all not know they got the thing called the coronavirus out here? I don't want to go there and end up cleaning up a corona gum from up under the pew. Now stop it. Now, since we got that out the way, first off, I want to give a congratulations to Brother Javon. After 10 years, he finally graduated 12th grade. More power to that young man. He didn't quit. He just kept going. Real proud of him here that he got it all together. Second, that scratching noise y'all heard. There's a squirrel's nest in the church. Okay? We're going to try to get somebody out here to get it. I would have done it myself, but I went up there and I got jumped. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Grown men got jumped by a bunch of squirrels. Personally, I think they took martial art classes or something, but that's neither here or there. Um, if you notice that the pew is missing, well, Ray Ray broke in the building last night. and We all know what's up with Ray Ray. If y'all see Ray Ray anywhere on the street, somewhere, tell him to bring him back. I don't know if he's expecting to get some kind of money for it or something like that to try to sell a church pew. I mean, a church, uh, 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 God dog, and I lost my memory. Anyway, the thing the pastor be standing behind. Yeah, that, that, right there, the podium, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, yeah, uh, if y'all see Ray Ray, get him, because he's going to try to sell the thing, and I don't know what, what's going on with that boy no more. 
He's just taking anything. I mean, I saw him last week. He tried to sell me another person. Um, I got an update on Sister Jenkins and Brother Fl and Brother uh, uh, the, 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 the Flanders. God damn it. Update on Sister Jenkins and, and Brother Flanders. That fight they had, well, allegedly had. It wasn't really a fight. Um, Sister Jenkins got a little hot. You know, because uh, Brother... Brother Flanders came in kind of late there. She threw a can of oil spray at him and it hit him in his left eye. Chipped his tooth. He then grabbed the same can and threw it back. And well, we all know the rest of that. Um, Deacon Blueberry told me to tell Sister Tanisha that he's very sorry for slapping her wig off last week. He thought a cat was attacking her, and he tried to save her, but he didn't know it was a wig at the time. So, Sister Tanisha, uh, yeah, he says he's sorry for that one. Um, Y'all didn't know the last one. I, uh, I made a little accident there and took the wrong medicine. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I accidentally did it again. So, if I start to, uh, if I start to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get a number two with some sunflower seeds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jack Daniels for the drink. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I accidentally did it again. Uh, continuing on. Um, Sister Elsa Pierce. Uh. I got to just go ahead and address this. Y'all got to be some dumb son bitches to go there and ask that woman to make a turkey. You know she got Alzheimer's. You know her memory ain't all that correct and sometimes she be on her own little planet. Here it is, I'm thinking we got a turkey and it's a goat. I ain't never had goat meat a day in my life and I still don't want no goat meat. I don't, I don't know why y'all ask this woman. Personally, I'm trying to figure out where the hell she got the goat from. But that's not my business. But the lady took a goat and cooked it. Because y'all asked her instead of doing What we need a turkey for anyway? It's just a church picnic. I don't know. You won't get a turkey like it's Thanksgiving. It ain't Thanksgiving. It's a picnic. Dag nabbit. Don't know what's wrong with y'all. Hey, hey, stop all that laughing. Stop that laughing. It's not funny, dog. Don't stop it. Anyway. <sighs> That little baby that walked up on me the other day and uh and, and kicked me in the jewels. Uh, to your parents, I won't apologize. I didn't mean to slap you that hard. You don't, you know. I didn't, I didn't expect you to, you know, to fly to the third row after I hit you. You know, I didn't, I didn't know babies could take flight like that after a slap. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. But you did hit me in the jewels. I forgot for a second that you was a kid, and you know, my hand just came out of nowhere. Um, I'm asking on a personal level for donations to get me a new hat. This one I got on right now is starting to smell like ass and crackles. And, uh, I don't want ass crackles on my head. But seeing as how I'm kind of bald up top right now, I don't be wanting to show my head all the time because, you know, it got a little bird decided it wanted to see my head as like a shiny car or something. And dropped a couple of turds on my head. He was good with some hot sauce. Not gonna lie. He was real good with some hot sauce. Um, For those of you that are coming out Saturday. For the lock-in. Make sure your kids take a bath. You know the lock-in we did about six months ago man. Some of them kids come up and that's some funky. I mean funky funky. They funky announced itself. That funky flew by my face like whew. I'm funky. It announced itself coming in the building. That funky came across like it was a VIP. That funky came across like it owned the church. That's that kind of funky. You swing at it, it knock you out. That funky had hands, trust me. It took me forever to get that stench out that kitchen. I drunk some Kool-Aid out that refrigerator and it tastes like that funky. I wanted to make some breakfast for the other members and they was making the faces like it tastes like that funky. You know that real funky that make you, woo, that real, real funky. 
Don't do that no more, please. Bring your kids a change of clothes and a toothbrush. If that, and, and make sure they're clean before they leave. Don't worry about bathing and all that stuff because they're coming home the next day because we got the church picnic Saturday. Matter of fact, you know, I need y'all to come get them early so they can take their little baths and come on back. Um, we getting a new DJ this year. I don't know what that young brother was thinking, but this is church picnic. We don't need to be hearing no back that ass up. We don't need to hear no get low. We don't need to hear no I'm in love with a stripper. We don't need to hear no bounce music from New Orleans. Because last year when he done that crap, <sighs> so Dana decided she wanted to get her ratchet stuff on top. Excuse me. She ratchet though. She wanted to get her ratchet stuff on top of the, the, top of the table there and start twerking. End up twerking so hard, her little pad came out, which I don't know why she ain't had no drawers on in the first doggone place. Then I look over on the other side and Kelly over there twerking too. And Deacon Williams and Deacon, uh, and, uh, Deacon Williams and, uh, uh, Deacon Jefferson, they over there putting dollars in the girl belt. Don't do that no more this year. We're not getting that. We don't want that DJ again. We got another one because they got to remember this is a church picnic. I can't say this enough. Okay. I'm getting fed up with all the foolishness. I really am. I try to be the best person that I can be, but y'all starting to rock my nerve, huh? Huh? The, huh? Well, Pastor, you said speak from the heart. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, that was, that was Pastor. He said I was going a little too hard, whatever that means. Um, Brother Tyrell, little sister Kiki, and little sister Aquanisha, and little sister Ladasha, Pause, hold up. Why is this name spelled L hyphen S H A? Ladasha? You put a hyphen in the girl name and as a dash and then use the you trifling no you know what? Your mama should have matter of fact, I don't even know your, your daddy should have pulled out for the name of a child like that. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, they're fine now, y'all. The, the kids are fine. Um, they were playing in the baptismal pool there, and they forgot the crack was up in it, and the thing went on here and broke, and they fell through. And 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 Polar Dash. By the time I walked up there to get her, she was hanging from the thing by the one little plait of hair she got. You know, she ain't really got that much hair in the first place. So that little piece of hair she got hanging back there that looked like a, uh the, the tail on a Rottweiler, it got stuck on one of them nails and pretty much saved her. So we got him out of there and got him to the hospital. Um, wasn't too many painful injuries they took, but, you know, they're fine. They're going to be back. They told me to tell y'all they love y'all and thank y'all for uh, for sending all the support and all that. Uh, thank y'all for sending me uh, all the love when I wasn't feeling good. I'm very grateful to what you did, but uh, next time uh, uh, you're going to get roses. I need y'all to check them first. And damn things had bees up in them. I went to go smell it and one stung me in the nose and I could have sworn it was laughing at me. Right after it did it. I think that B was from Watts or South Central somewhere because that B was straight gangster. You feel me? That that B, I think that B had a pistol. I ain't never been hit like that in my life and it stung as you can see right now I done recovered from it. But yeah, don't I appreciate that with the roses and everything. Just kind of check it first. Um... Brother, uh, uh, bro, brother Taylor, we understand that you need your, your dog because your, your eyes ain't gone. But what we need you to do is to tell this dog to stop barking when the choir is singing. Okay? All oh, that, that just so disturbing. Every time they sing, he, hur, hur. no, you know, don't, don't cheat, teach the dog not to do that during service. Please don't. Um, they wanted me to tell y'all also that we got the church van back. And yes, that is the church van that we brought back. Unfortunately, they took it and um took the tires off of them. They thought they was rims just because of how they looked. And uh, uh when we found it, they was big enough to take them back. So the van is here. We'll be able to take everybody back out on their trips again. Uh, Sister Mary told me to tell y'all that uh 
She's fine. She just need a new pair of glasses herself. Uh, she was going in there to uh, to uh, take a shower. And uh, she reached for her soap to bathe, but she wondered why her skin started to get a little irritated. And, uh, you know, she accidentally rubbed Lysol on her body in the shower. She thought it was a soap, but it was actually Lysol. It kind of kind of irritated her skin a little bit. Then, uh, you know, from what I heard, she was screaming like old Banshee up in there. And by the time somebody changed to come get her, she had not slipped and fell on out the tub and broke her hip bone. Uh, she hit her head on the toilet, so she got a slight concussion. Uh, when I went to see her the other day, uh, you know, one eye was cocked to the left and the other one was looking straight. But, you know, the doctor said that that's going to be okay. She's going to be fine. I want to thank y'all for taking the time out to listen to me. This is Deacon Anderson. I'll be back next time with your church announcements. Be blessed. All right, we back, man. I'm not going to hold y'all too long, man. I got something I want to do right quick. Couple of shout outs and everything else. Oh, hey man, thank y'all for still rocking with me. I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, it's more to come. Uh, starting on this journey, man, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I didn't think that it would rise up like it did. Uh, my subs would rise up like they did, you know, although I know most of them are Tony Baker fans that, that, that really pretty much came to the channel. But even still, you know, you found my page, you sub. And I'm very grateful for that. Because uh, y'all could have went anywhere else. You know, I know I'm not the only person on YouTube with Tony Baker compilations. You know what I'm saying? I know they're all over the place. And y'all took time to go come over and watch mine. And not only that, watch and sub. So I appreciate that. I appreciate the ones who are sticking around with me and supporting me. You know what I'm saying? With everything I've been through. You know, this is, what, this is why I do everything I do for you guys to make sure that. You get the best content I can give you possible. Um, try to have as much fun as possible with you guys, you know. Go from there. Y'all are a trip. For real, for real. Can't rely on it. Y'all are a trip. Some of them comments be having me dying laughing. And that, that, that's that kind of therapy you need in life right there. Y'all are some good people, man. Hold, hold on. Hold on, hold on. To be continued, hold on. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. And I'm not taking that out. I'm going to leave that in there. I don't give a damn. But yeah, man, y'all y'all been real good to me, man. I appreciate it so much. You guys are a trip. You know, great to see people with such a sense of humor, a good sense of humor. You know, and right now I'm kind of proud of what, what America doing. It's showing me, well, it's showing the world something I, I've known for years. There's less racist people than there is non-racist. You see for yourself how we come out in droves out there. And if you're out there protesting, man, please be careful. You know, we understand what you're doing, but just be careful out there. We know it's crazy. So, I want to give a shout out to a few people here. If I don't say your name, don't take it personal. Um, these are just the ones I, I, I'm doing for now, but trust me, I recognize everybody. I really do. If you, can, if you can't tell, you can look in comments and see that I... I I read everybody comments. No lie. But uh, yeah, let me give a shout out to Sherry Anderson, Jen, Crystal, Marshall, Allison, Stephanie, Perus. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Um, Elderly Poodle, Rima Glaufflin, Deb Range, Darian Ashwood, Jerk1312, Darlene, Carlota, uh, or Carlotta, one, one of them, I'm sorry, uh, Deanna, Donald, Andre, Nikki. Little Miss Eats Crisp for Breakfast. Incredible name. Uh, Miss Barbara. I couldn't pronounce your first name, but I'm pretty sure you know who I'm talking about. Uh, Royal Lioness. R.J. Harris. Salute homie. You've been here for the longest. Uh, Alina Terrence. Titan Cloud. Anthony Edna. 
Chris Joshua DG. And the rest of the true fam, man. You know, you guys make my day special. I work hard at this, man, trying to get all this content out to you. I say make sure you share these videos, man. Let's make this thing go viral, man, so we can make this channel grow even more. So, you know, I want to look up one day and see react this reacting to the work that I do. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all with me, man. Let's take this ride together. Non-stop. And trust me, if I get famous, I ain't going to forget none of them. With that being said, good night, fam. Enjoy your night, man. Always, always, always stay peaceful-minded with yourself. Fight to keep your peace of mind. Always be positive. Help others when you can, man. Look out for people, you know. Do things just because out of love. Don't do it respecting, I mean, expecting nothing back. You feel what I'm saying? We stick up for each other. We ride for each other. We cry with each other. We, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, we're there. You know, so hopefully one day I'll be able to throw a big old party and fly everybody out to one location, wherever you are in the world, and we have fun. Good night, people. Peace, love, and rhinestone gloves.